Oh, no. He brought his son with him. He brought his son with him. And so I'm thinking, all right, how do I handle this? And since you have your child here, I'm not going to pursue this. Okay. But I think you know what you were doing here, don't you? All right, I don't usually give you guys warnings on these, but you need to seriously sit back and prepare yourself for how insane today's classic TCAP reaction is. I don't want to spoil too much, so we're just going to get right on into it. Make sure you drop a like if you enjoy my reactions, and make sure you watch till the very end, because uh, this is one of the more sickening episodes I think that we will ever see. And I believe we had a description of his car. So we see it pull up and it's an SUV. He's in the driveway, Joe, but I can't hear you coming back at me. So today's creep is pulling up into the driveway of the house. And uh, you could tell just by Chris Hansen's tone that today's episode is a little bit different. So today, this is from their series called The Unseen Tapes, which is kind of a like left on the cutting room floor type series where they have a bunch of extra creeps that never made it into the actual show itself. And you're going to see why this guy was not actually formally on the normal episodes of this show show his case is uh it's unique to say the least i know i'm being very cryptic right now but you will soon see why he deli's backing out now he's backing out of the driveway yeah looks like he's gonna park on the street can you hear me Del? So for a second, they're freaking out here thinking this guy's about to leave, but no, instead he realizes maybe I shouldn't park into the driveway in case somebody comes home and I need to make a quick run out of this house. That way my car is ready and raring to go. But what happens next is what truly sends Chris and his team into a spiral of panic, and you'll see why. Instead, he grabs the hand of his five-year-old son and leads him out of the car and up the driveway. So, yeah, <sighs> this realization literally just made my heart start racing when I found out this is what the hell was happening in this episode. This guy brought his son along. This was the last thing they were expecting, and I'm honestly really wondering how they're going to be handling this moving forward, because, I mean, even the arrest portion, you got to really be careful when this guy literally has his kid with him, because that's uh, the stakes are quite different, you know what I mean? And it's just gut-wrenchingly terrifying to think of why he would bring his kid along to this, or the fact that he even has a kid. And I hear Frag say, Oh no. He brought his son with him. He brought his son with him. Apparently, the mother of the child, his wife, was working that day. And you can hear even the panic in the operator's voice, like the main guy who is helping Chris with these investigations. He's the one kind of calling the shots for all the different people that are a part of this, with the policemen, the cameramen, the crew. And uh, when the guy in charge is kind of low-key panicking, not knowing what to do, that has to be seriously frightening for everybody on set. Again, this has not happened ever, so that's right. Maybe this guy thought it was less sketchy showing up with his own son as if he was just bringing his kid over for a play date or something. But the story is that the kid's mother is away at work and he was watching the kid. And because he got contacted online and wanted to go do this thing, he said, you know what? I'll just bring you along. We'll pop on a movie or something in the other room and whatever. But still, this is it's hard to even discuss, bro. Like I am seriously trying to hold back vomiting from how disgusting this entire situation is. He's one of these guys who had a very short online chat, but then on the phone is graphic about what he wants to do. And Dell, one of the people that sometimes acts as the decoy's voice, is telling this guy to bring his son around to the back as that is the door that actually opens. Maybe they don't want to give him a clear exit out of the house in case he does try to dash away from cops or if he spots anything. But yeah, this is truly about to happen. I, I really am in shock still. Making the turn, coming in the back door. Coming through, walking into the room. And like what I'm wondering is I know this son of his is very young and probably doesn't even know what's going on. He just follows his dad around to errands all day anyways, not really being given a reason. But what is he being told right here? Like, hey, I'm just going to a friend's house or what? Like, uh, there's so many questions I have about this that clearly we're never going to get answers to because this kid thankfully has had his face blurred in this video. And I'm sure there is a ton of stuff protecting his identity and everything. It's just, it's a very disgusting situation all around that I am just appalled at. And so he comes in, he's got the kid by the hand, and I walk out, and he's startled. I gotta tell you something, and I'm gonna tell you just straight up right now. And you know this dude is literally about to crap his pants from fear right now. Already he knows that he's doing something that is very, very wrong. And now that he's included his own son and brought him along, that just makes him look 10,000 times worse. He's probably thinking of just how screwed he is and how many years of jail he's going to be receiving as a result of this. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. Good. We're doing a story. And since you have your child here, I'm not going to pursue this. 
And that's right. You heard that correctly. This is absolutely insane. Chris Hansen decides himself he's not going to go through with this interview because obviously he can't be bringing this stuff up in front of the guy's own son. Even though the kid might not even be of talking age, uh, he, he will hear these things and that's just, it's enough him being here and having to witness his father getting arrested outside. Chris just basically explains, dude, just go out the door and meet your justice uh, because uh, the police are the ones that need to be handling you and this situation right now. Uh, this is above even Chris's pay grade. I think it'd be best if you just went ahead and left. Yeah, I agree. And of course, Frag is talking to the police saying, you know, this has got to be a different sort of arrest. And as the dude leaves, he kind of just stutters, oh, never going to do this again, thinking maybe he's gotten away scot-free. But uh, if this dude has ever seen the show before, he knows that's not how this goes. He's about to walk out and get arrested. And I'm sure they're going to be handling this arrest much different than some of the other ones where they're a little bit more aggressive with these creeps. As again, you got to really make sure he doesn't do anything rash and that you're protecting his son that he brought along with him. Rob, we're going to send this guy out. We're not going to interview him because he got his kid. Sir, right there. You come here. You come here. Let go of the child. So now he's outside and the police start barking orders. And again, I'm just terribly sad thinking of how scary the situation has to be for his poor son. I mean, his mother, oh, she must be freaking out too once she gets this phone call, hearing that the father of her child is in jail and uh, she needs to come pick up her kid or whatever. It just shows how willing these guys are to be monsters. He wasn't even gonna let him having to babysit his own son get in the way of him doing this terrible, terrible act. And just thank God this show was happening at this exact time. I mean, this could have been one of these days where the show isn't as active anymore. Chris is doing, you know, his own stuff still. But this was during the height of these investigations and I am so glad that this was a decoy and he instead met justice instead of him doing god knows what today had it been any other type of situation where he really was speaking to somebody who was really that age as gently as the female officer scooped him up he still had to see his father get arrested Please give me my son, please. And this dude's like on the verge of tears being like, please give me my son. Like, what the hell do you think you're going to get out of the situation, dude? You are getting arrested right now for like the number one thing that would make law enforcement want to keep you away from your own child. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, we should not be giving this guy his son back. Take him away to jail. Again, sadly, as Chris just said, this kid had to see his own father in handcuffs being hauled away, which I'm sure is just going to do a number on his psyche growing up, especially as he finds out more about the situation and maybe even sees these clips of this show. And they were just blown away. I mean, some of these guys were in tears. And to just show off how severe the situation is, it sounds like even the first responders and the law enforcement that were working with Chris on this investigation, as well as possibly some of the people in the investigation team themselves, had tears in their eyes because of the situation. Because you just think of the full gravity of what happened here. I mean, it's a shock to their system. Every single time they confront one of these creeps, they don't know what's going to happen. They might get thrown for a loop, but this has to be one of the most unique and terrifying situations that have ever gone down on this show bar none. I would not be surprised if Chris says this was one of the worst people he ever caught just because the implication of his own son, the creep's own son, seeing all this go down and probably being too confused to really grasp it, but no doubt that is going to be affecting him later on in life, like I said, in many negative ways that we can't even imagine. Upon his interview with police, the chat log and everything else, it doesn't seem like he was really involved. And just like I said earlier, apparently according to all of the interviews he did with police and everything, they have decided that it is pretty clear this guy did not plan to do anything nefarious as a result of bringing his son along to this house. Instead, he was just going to have him chill out in another room and get distracted by TV, which is, again, still so sickening. But I'm thankful that, you know, there was not other insane plans that I don't even want to begin to think about going on here. Granted, they could be wrong on that and he could be just a masterful liar, but I, I do kind of buy that if it's them saying that after all of these interviews they've done. Doesn't make this any any less bad though it's still absolutely one of the most terrible things i've seen on this show relatives have told us that at first the boy was living with the mother then the boy went to go live with other relatives because the mother took the father back in and as if this video could not get darker as we wrap up and we see this man get processed and put behind bars thankfully we hear that as according to chris hearing from family members of this guy and his son uh the son is no longer living with this guy or the mother because the mother chose to stick with this dude over parenting her own son so uh, that just has so many layers of darkness it, it's depressing i'm sorry this video was not one of the more uplifting kind of hilarious ones this was truly truly saddening and just frightening honestly 
and goes to show how many unfit parents there are out there. I think as sad as it is, this kid is going to be much better off not being in his mother's life either, as she sounds like a complicit monster who was fine with going back to a man who was possibly going to go through with this, or definitely going to go through with this had Chris Hansen not been there. So let me know what you thought of this episode down in the comments below. Once again, sorry for the harsh topics, but I did warn you in the beginning. As always, shout out to my Patreon supporters. Support me over there. Feel free to check that out if you'd like to see some extra content featuring Facecam. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until next time, peace out.